Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Bohm with Eye Surgeons Associates. I'm an ophthalmologist that specializes in cornea and external disease. Welcome to FYI. Today I'm going to talk about a corneal condition called keratoconus. Keratoconus is a non-inflammatory condition that causes a change in the shape and the structure of the cornea. It has been estimated that keratoconus affects worldwide roughly 1 in 2,000 patients. In keratoconus, for unknown reasons, the cornea assu assumes an irregular, thinned shape of a cone. Normally, the cornea has a regular, curved surface. This normal curvature helps determine the astigmatism of the cornea. For unclear reasons in keratoconus, the normal, regular dome shape of the cornea assumes a thinned, cone-like shape over time. Normally, the cornea has regular astigmatism, and that is due to the regular curvature of the cornea. In keratoconus, that cone causes the end of the cornea to look like an end of a football, whereas normally the cornea is smooth and regular like a basketball might be. This change in the corneal curvature or the astigmatism from the cone leads to progressive nearsightedness and astigmatism and therefore causes blurry vision. Typically folks are diagnosed around the age of 15 to 25 and usually the condition progresses over about two, decade, two decades before stabilizing. Since patients first present with blurry vision, they are often fitted for glasses or contact lenses. As the disease progresses in some patients, they require more special contact lens fittings with what, are, which, with what are called keratoconus lenses. These contact lenses can better cover up or mask the irregular astigmatism caused by the shape uh, of the cone in keratoconus. There is no medication to fix keratoconus and no eye drop that we can give you which will fix your cornea. This has to do with the way your cornea is inherently made, and we don't really know why this happens. Most people do well with glasses or contact lenses in keratoconus, but in some cases, the change of the cone and thinning of the cornea can lead to scarring and additional vision problems. In some patients, they can receive an implant of an intrastromal corneal ring or an intact, which acts as a strut to stabilize the thinning cornea. This can allow oftentimes better contact lens fitting, but it is not precise. There is a new procedure which is currently under clinical trials in the United States called corneal cross-linking. Corneal cross-linking at this time is available worldwide, but is still undergoing clinical trials in the United States. In this procedure, the cornea is treated with a chemical and ultraviolet light, and that is designed to stabilize the thinning and coning of the cornea. Finally, if the cornea is irreversibly scarred or thinned too much, uh, a patient would be left with the option of a corneal transplant to replace the damaged keratoconus cornea with a healthy one. Thanks for watching my video today and be sure to check out eye surgeons websites for additional videos on eye conditions. Thank you.